prohibitions against making allies with God worshiping nations. Law number 46. Do not return to the ways of God worship and sin. Deuteronomy 17, verse 16. He must not acquire great numbers of horses for himself or make the people return to Egypt to get more of them, for Yahweh has told you you must not go back that way again. Law number 47. Do not follow teachings other than the law of Yahweh taught by the house of Yahweh. Numbers 15, verse 39. And you shall have the tassel, the zitzit, that you may look upon it and remember all the laws of Yahweh and do them, so that you do not follow after the lust of your own heart and your own eyes after which you used to go whoring. Law number 48. Do not make allies with God-worshipping nations. Exodus 34, verse 15. Be careful to make no treaty with those who live in the land, for when they prostitute themselves to their gods, Elohim, and sacrifice to them, they will invite you and you will eat their sacrifices. Law number 49. Do not spare any of the God-worshipping nations. Deuteronomy 20, verse 16 to 18. But in the cities of the nations which Yahweh your Father has given you as an inheritance, do not leave alive anything that breathes. You must utterly and completely destroy them, Kerem, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, just as Yahweh your father has commanded you. Or they will teach you to follow all their abominations that they have done to their gods, Elohim, and you will sin against Yahweh your father. Law number 50. Do not show mercy to worshiping nations. Deuteronomy 16 verse 2. And when Yahweh your father has delivered them over to you, and you have defeated them, then you must utterly destroy them, Kerem. You must make no treaty with them, nor show mercy to them. Law number 51. Do not permit God worshippers who refuse to repent to remain in the house of Yahweh forever. Exodus 23, 32-33. You shall make no covenant with them, nor with their gods, Elohim. Do not let them to live in your land, or they will cause you to sin against me. For if you worship their gods, Elohim, it will certainly be a snare unto you. Law number 52. Do not make marriages with God worshippers. Deuteronomy 7 verse 3. You must not make marriages with them. You must not give your daughter to their son, nor take their daughter for your son. Law number 53. Do not allow a God worshipper to join the house of Yahweh unless he repents. Deuteronomy 23, 3 to 4. An Amorite or a Moabite or their descendants shall not enter the congregation of Yahweh even to the tenth generation, because they did not meet the road with food and water when you came out of Egypt and because they hired Balaam the son of Beor from Pethor in Aram, Naharam northwest Mesopotamia to pronounce a curse upon you 54. Do not abhor an Edomite who repents. Deuteronomy 23 verse 7. However you must not abhor an Edomite for he is your brother. You must not abhor an Egyptian for you were an alien in his land. Law number 55, do not abhor an Egyptian who repents. Deuteronomy 23 verse 7, however, you must not abhor an Edomite, for he is your brother. You must not abhor an Egyptian, for you were an alien in his land. Law number 56, do not have fellowship with a God worshiper who refuses to repent. Deuteronomy 23 verse 6, you shall not seek their peace, nor brotherly relations with them as long as you live. Law number 57. Do not destroy fruit trees. Deuteronomy 20 verse 19. When you besiege a city for a long time while making war against it, you must not destroy its trees by cutting them down. If you can eat of them, do not cut them down to use in the siege because you can use them for food. Law number 58. Do not fear the adversaries of Yahweh. Deuteronomy 7 verse 21. You must have no fear of them, for Yahweh your Father, who is among you, is a great and awesome power. Law number 59. Do not forget the evil done by the adversaries of Yahweh. Deuteronomy 25 verse 19. Therefore, when Yahweh your Father has given you rest from your enemies all around you in the land Yahweh your Father has given you to possess as an inheritance, then blot out the remembrance and memory of Amalek from under heaven. Do not forget this.